whoo, it's fun to be able to hit the ball with a driver and draw it right back to the center of the fairway. It's a really pretty shot. But most golfers slice. They slice the driver uncontrollably. And they've been doing it for years. Maybe you've been doing it for years and it's still a mystery on how you're going to get out of it. Well, here's the good news, because right after this, I'm going to show you my three minute slice cure. You won't believe it, but it's going to work. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve with hititlonger.com. I continue on my journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than ever before. Show all my students how to do it too, and that includes curing the slice. And that's a really easy one. I find that curing a slice can happen very, very quickly when you understand how a slice is made. Now, TrackMan has taught us that on a driver, more than 80% of the influence in the direction and the curve of your golf ball is in the club face. Now, my experience teaching thousands of golfers over the years has taught me that not very many slicers cut across from out to in that badly, but instead, they leave the face open. So if this is you, why don't you try my three minute slice cure? So first make sure that your grip is turned far enough to the right to where it might feel like your left palm is down facing the ground and your right palm is facing up to the sky. Now this won't be true, but it'll absolutely be what it feels like. This is gonna give us more potential to bring the club face around to straight. The second thing we've got to do to get the club face square, again, slicers leave the face open. It's not that much. The path is that bad sometimes, but not that much. It's the face being left open or off to the right, and the ball follows the face over 80% of the influence. So let's try this one now with your new grip. And you can put the grip on this way too. Palm down as you hold the club up at eye level palm straight down, palm straight up. That'll give you the proper grip. And then at eye level, we're just gonna practice going 180 degrees over the top, like so. Just crossing the forearms, do it over and over and over again. This is a way for you to feel the activation of the proper muscles that will square the club face through impact. Now you can bend down to the ball and do it right in front of you, do the same exercise. 180 degrees, keep the glove hand in front of your belt buckle and make the club go around 180 degrees. If you're super lazy, you can just sit on the sofa and do this in front of the TV, the same exercise. First, you can do the over and then you can do the out and over. So out to the camera and over into the same position, out and over, just like that. Now, once you have a draw bias grip and you understand the forearm action that's necessary to square the face, the only mistake left that my students typically make is they apply that force too late. The club comes in open still because they are crossing over too late. So now you can just simply repeat the same exercise, but back it up a couple hours. So put the club back here and do the same exercise over and over and over again just like that now when you go to hit the ball for the first time don't hit it as hard as you can try to just take some easy half swings and see if you can get the ball to go left like that keep in mind that the forearm action is initiated back here don't be surprised if your first several hook shots are kind of ugly maybe on the ground even. Keep at it, you'll get better. All right, hey, I hope this video helps to cure your slice and does it in such a simple way that it gets it done fast. I'm Steve, thanks so much for watching, and as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.